Judas. Hey, buddy. Judas was known. Go ahead, you're just gonna block the entire road. For, uh, well, he was, he was looked at. The funny thing is that the disciples didn't even know that Judas was. <sighs> they didn't even know that Judas was demon possessed until after the fact and but yet Jesus knew that he was demon possessed while everybody else didn't know I don't know sometimes it's sometimes it's like how don't they know everything because they were in surveillance gang stalking Jesus from the beginning and then so I think of my experience six years on YouTube knowing that the Bible's being played out that's the one thing that I always kept in mind the Bible is being played out as I'm on the YouTube platform 69 years after the nation of Israel be became a nation again 68 years 68 years and 11 months I showed up on this YouTube platform. I was 40 years old. I was in the wilderness for 40 years. Because without YouTube, you're lost. Everybody. Not just social media itself. Or, I mean, well, basically the internet. Without the internet, everybody's lost. With the internet, everybody's corrupted. With or without the internet is the fine line in between where you have to live. So living for 40 years walking this earth lost. Not not raised just not even really brought up. It's not like I was raised. I was just existing. I I existed uh, I don't know, I get maybe Jesus in the beginning. He must have healed my withered hand. Because in my baby picture, I can't be any more than a year old. And it looks like my right hand is really, really red. And then my left hand is really, really serpent. So I don't know which, which hand was, was normal. One of them was red and ruddy. And the other one was a serpent hand. Uh, I don't remember having that hand. I, I don't know if it's a picture. I'm not sure how much of the picture is an actual drawing. My baby picture with my mom, my two sisters, my two brothers, and and the two government agents resting on my left hand shoulder above me. So I don't know. Maybe back then Jesus healed my withered hand and. Maybe I'm that person in the Bible that had the withered hand and I was healed. Or it could be um, vice versa. It's it's to make it look that way. You know, juxtapositions there. So, I hop onto YouTube. I'm 40 years old. I was in the wilderness, lost. I grew up as a thief. You never knew... Uh, when I would show up, I could come in the middle of the night. You'd never know. I would come like a thief in the night when I would steal from people. And that's why I winded up in, in prison. And then for the last, the last time that I did anything prison worthy, I did a year and a half in two different counties. Bucks County, Montgomery County. And that was it for me, 2006.
March 19th, 2006, I was freed from an inner prison. Then I started to realize the outer prison, but it still took some time. It still took some time to get, to find out what everything's about because in jail is basically when I first started to pick up the Bible. To pick that up, I got locked up October, uh, it was Halloween, October, <clears throat> or three days before Halloween, October 28th, 2004. 2004, 23, 19 years ago. So 19 years ago is when I officially uh, started to retire from being a criminal. Then I turned <coughs> from a thief coming in the middle of the night, never known, <coughs> to uh, getting on the YouTube platform 2006 so I was when so when you two uploaded their very first video Joel Karim I was sitting in cell block uh, a I believe it was or no I think it was F because you what you was down the line down the hall so there was F there was E there was U I was sitting in the heart of my sentence, 2005, April 23rd, 2005. You two, Joel Karim, uploaded the very first video, me at the zoo. At that time, <clears throat> uh, 19, 20, 47, 30, 27, 20, I was like 27, 28 years old. I still had another 13 years or so to go, right, until I found the YouTube platform, got married, I thought the world was going to end May 21st, 2011, thought I was doing the right thing by marrying my wife because, you know, how are you supposed to know that everybody's from an organization? somewhere along the lines and like how are you supposed to know that so what I did was an innocent thing I married a woman because I thought it was the right thing to do which you know it still is it's just <clears throat> we were lied to about everything about the procedures of everything it's it's a nice gesture but you know truly the the marriage is between you and God. If you're lying, cheating, stealing, hiding, gang stalking, that's the sin. It'll, it'll all be revealed. It's all being revealed. I did my space for about a month or two. I forget when, I, maybe that came out in 2008, seven. Because I met my wife in 2009, April 5th, 2009, where I talked to her over the phone for the first time. And then a, a week later, I finally met up with her. And the thing that was attractive was the fact that she has a pretty face, pretty feet, fingers, and a fairly decent body. And, um, and she had a Mustang that had a V8. And I had a V8 Mustang. So, that was a sealed deal right then and there. <clears throat> Fast forward 14 years later, I feel like it would be something else, this movie that I'm working on, writing scripts out loud, that I was with twins, but I didn't know it. And I was with the evil twin for the first seven years. And then I was with the good twin for the last seven years. Because for the last seven years, well, it's been easier relationship-wise between me and my wife than the first seven years was. Because, my goodness, was I accused day and night, day and night. Like, being accused from Satan 
day and night, day and night of, of cheating and lying and doing all, you know, whatever, just things that I wasn't even doing. <coughs> and then the last seven years, doing the twin swap. And then in between, you know, it could still be twin swapping. And sometimes the evil twin comes back, even though the two became one, but there's still that evil inkling inside of that one spirit of my wife, that her other, you know, Denise. Because regardless, I still look at her as two people. Denise and Jules. Denise is who I married, not knowing. And then Jules is the idea wife. You know, minus the secrets and stuff. Because <clears throat> there's still secrets and there's still things that aren't being fully, uh, you know, acknowledged outright so that would be something else huh if I was with two if I was with twins but um, whatever that, that would just be part of the movie the script <clears throat> so it's 40 years wilderness just like Moses 40 years and then I hop onto the YouTube platform out of nowhere after 69 years of the nation of Israel becoming a nation again. 2017, I was a month old. Then after 11 months and one day, I was crucified by Matthew Daly for three hours between 6 and 9.30 p.m. on 3-2-2-2018. Skull and Bones Day, along with 18 Mod Zero, Mark 18, 666, the Mark. The zero, the holy place. Everything is was perfect. The timing, the dates, the the, the month. <clears throat> eleven years, eleven months, eleven days. After Joel Karim uploaded his very first video when I was sitting in jail. Talk about a zoo. Yeah, me at the zoo. Yeah, you damn Skippy. I was at a damn zoo. And and then I. I appear on 4-2-2017. Right before that, right also right before the solar eclipse, another one's gonna happen again. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. <coughs> Just happens to be a crash on 95. That's gonna take 13 extra minutes. That's alright, I got time to talk. I um I called Matthew Daly a Judas. I remember. I remember his other character, I believe. The woman, um, Ashley, I think that's who she was. Matthew's other female character. She's like you better be careful what you fucking say. Because when you say you have 12 disciples, you're saying that you're Jesus. You're Jesus. And I was just kidding. It's like, uh, I got a bunch of people's number. I was, I was just dumb. I mean, I was blind and sleeping. And all you people just took advantage of me because Judas, because you thought Judas had a clean spirit. But it's like the same thing like that demon-possessed man that was never named. He comes up to Jesus. Hey, Jesus, I know who you are. What are you doing? Uh, I rebuke you, Robin Henry Tease. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> you, what do you come to destroy us before our time? And I'm like, yes, SJD, I am here to destroy the evil plots of everybody. And you're not going to stop me. And I'm never going to leave you nor forsake you. Because until those demons are cast out of you, Stephen James Deshaun. Yep, so that's my life. I'm playing out my role in the YouTube platform where the Bible is being played out as we speak. Especially 
words being spoken. Um, this is what it's like for other people to believe in the Father in heaven, which is a spirit. Is there someone in heaven that's a, considered a father? Well, sure, Satan's even a father, a father of lies. But he was kicked out of heaven, even, even on earth, because the heavens is the internet, the heavens, YouTube, the temple itself. Well, that's where Jesus resides. That's his house. It's his father's house. It becomes his house. Him and the Father are one, so therefore, when you start believing in the Father, you're believing in the same delusional, non-existing character that Jesus believed in. And uh, and then you see the results of what that the, the Father is. And then that's why his disciples started looking at him as the Father, because in the beginning, what are they doing? They're gang-stalking him, correct? Were they not surveilling him because of Judas? Did Judas not have the surveillance against Jesus? Was Jesus not following Judas' 12 disciples? Steve, Steve and James, you can clarify that, right? You can clarify everything I'm saying for the past six years. So they start teaching on the YouTube platform and they are communicating and getting, they're, they're praying. What they're doing is they're pushing record, they're praying. I pray all the time and I get answers because I'm praying to the Heavenly Father. It's not to one person though and that's where, that's where the separation happens. You, the disciples may have been used to praying to their father, Satan, in heaven. But, uh, <clears throat> but then Jesus comes along as he's following them, but they're surveilling him. So, so he said, follow me. I don't know if he really picked up a cross and put Luke 1 15 and, uh, or, uh, after 9 23. What was the other one? Is it Luke 9, 11, 1? Matthew? I forget which. The cross that I demonstrated with. But the one is 9, 9 23. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? 9 23. Right after the, uh, the Revelation 12 sign. So I, I, I enter. I enter mingle myself with scripture because what happened with Jesus is the same thing that's happening with me at the same time. It's very, very similar because these things have already happened. They literally already happened. Now it's in spirit. Now, now the spirit world has been flipped upside down. So, when you have people like, for instance, just Robert Breaker. Breaker, Breaker. He gets up, he teaches things that are going to relate to now that I have came back into his life. I've, I've hopped into the synagogue. I just show up. It's like showing up in the synagogue. Uh, in church. in Robert Breaker's church. So I show up and then he starts talking about Judas and then he talk, talks about the the devil or the uh, the guy with the demon. Or wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, he was talking about that too. No, Jonah? But then so was Kim Jean. Yeah, they kind of remind me of the same person. <clears throat> Maybe they are. I'll try to get to how Mary Magdalene, I believe may be seven different characters on YouTube. And um, would have a face of a man and had, had had seven demons in her, just like the demon possessed man did that was unnamed, which reminded me of Stephen James and Sean in the very beginning. But there was another demon that said, 
I know who you are, Jesus. What do I have have to do with you? Or something like that. <coughs> and, but did you notice that Jesus wasn't trying to cast the demon out of him? He was only trying to, he was only casting the demon out of the first one that came to him immediately. It's like, it's like this. I show up on YouTube, right? Or it's like this. I'm, I'm in traffic right now. I'm in traffic. I don't even know anybody. All of a sudden, some guy starts running up to my truck. Like, I see him in the rear of your mirror right now. He's like jogging up to the side of my truck. Look, he's like this. He's like running up right now to the side. Look at the house is going to grow. And he comes and he starts knocking on the door. What the fuck? What are you? What, dude? I know who you are, Robin. What are you have? What are you doing? Trying to get out of here. I hate your guts, you effing bastard. It's like straight being gang stalked out of nowhere. Not knowing this person from Adam. Who through all men have son have sinned. They're all. It's like being gang stalked at, at its highest level. When Stephen James Sean showed up on YouTube uh, with me. Uh, with all of his disciples, all 12 of them, and um, being possessed by these demons, just it, all to legions of demons. And uh, it could have been, you know, could, how many characters are you, Steve? Could you have been already that have come in my direction? And, uh, but you know what? You know, everybody left you alone and. Yeah, I mean, you'll say, like, Robin, Henry Tease, and yeah, he's going to get his, and it's, he's going to get his. And I got your number, pal. I, I, hey, Robin, I got your number. Uh, I'm going to take care of, uh, you're going to be taken care of. You watch. It's all hogwash um, language, because you got to read between the lines. All of his disciples took off. Now, Justin Michael... I seen a video. Can I send this to you? Something like that. I was I was looking to send something to Steve in the beginning when I did the video, and he's like, "You don't have to worry about me, Robin," because he knows that you know I'm concerned about him. I all I had to do was just say, "People need to start to donate and send," and then all of a sudden, someone sending them seeds, and then and then um, according to the script, because nothing is actually the way it's, you know, according to the script, Steve will be taken care of financially. And he's been good since, you know, this entire time. And I've never left him. I never forgot about him. Even though he talks shit. But again, read between the lines on that one. But uh, where's uh, where's Jethro and, and Tim Sater at, Steve? Where's... Uh, Where's Tyler Molden? How about Boldly? Has he been in contact with you lately? What about Jerry from A Light of Truth? How about Matthew, Stephen, James, Deshaun? What about Jerry? Uh, uh, how about um, Derek from A Glop of Truth? Is, has he been in contact with you over the past six years? Checking in to see if, the, he, if he's able to cast that those legions of demons out of you? Anybody like that? Has anybody been hanging in there with you? I would say if anybody really, it would be Justin Michael still around. I don't even know if anybody else even exists. I mean, Tyler Mullen's still up every day, I think, doing his thing. But uh, I, sometimes people, it's just hard to watch certain people because... You know why I don't really talk to anybody? Because I, because nobody's telling the truth. You're not going to tell me the full truth. It's like that YouTube song. Wild horses. Who's going to ride your wild horses? When Bono's singing, saying... When you lied to me, because I asked you to. Meaning, like... Baby, can we still be friends? It's like, it reminds me of me and my wife. When I... 
Because you lied to you lied to me because I asked you to. I I literally asked my wife to lie to me. You know how? Because I'll ask her a question that I know I get I will get lied to, or I'll say something that I know she'll deny. Because she can't say anything. You can't say that you're part of an organization that's a secret organization that was sent in my direction. You can't tell me that. So I. So I ask you, <clears throat> I asked you to lie to me. And that's why I can't really, for the past five years, really, six, seven, six years, I stayed out of contact directly with people that I was directly in communication with because I, I know it's all, I'm just tired of the show. I'm tired of the acting tired of people pretending they're not from the Illuminati and it's just nauseating but ain't that funny how at at this time now everything's getting more and more clear the amount of names that people are in the Bible as in characters and then another and then another character and then Judas himself and then Judas he hung it up right he spilled his guts what do you think what do you think Stephen James has been doing over the past six, six years and he's been spilling his guts I'm not saying that he's Judas but J-U-D-S J-S-J-D-U J-U-D-S I'm not saying that because I don't truly know, you know, you know anything really. But what I what I do know is that I was set up. I was set up, and people were playing games with me, and they were they were acting like they were, like they thought I was Jesus, right? They were acting like I, or they were pretending that I was supposed to be, but they were just playing. They were just playing with me because their Jesus was Judas. Obviously. <laughs> and Judas and Jesus were pretty good buddies according to the book of Judas. Like, sorta. Like, friend, I guess. I don't know. It seemed like they, they talked to each other a lot. 30 shekels. The beast that was, is not, and yet to come. Stephen James to Sean. The wounded head. The beast rising up out of the sea. Yeah, you're going to have Jonathan Cleck showing the art museum, the beast, the, the literal serpent rising up from the sea. But um, if I have anything to do with scripture being written about, Stephen James Deshaun was the first beast whose head was wounded and his deadly wound was healed because the legion of demons was cast out of him. Uh, he was in charge. He is not at the moment, but he's going to be in the end. I know it. That's, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not, it's just one of the reasons why I stuck with him because I knew he was somebody more than what he was acting like. Because he demonstrated his authority on this planet. Because, because, that's right. When did it all begin with Stephen James Deshaun and how I knew he had control as to what was going to happen in the world to dominate the mainstream news media? John from Denver, can you guess what it was? You damn skippy. It's Ned Peppers. It was the Stuffed Peppers video. And the Gilroy Festival shooting and like wow this guy he has the world script in his hand and he was singing me songs and I mean if if Stephen James and Sean made a thousand videos within the past six years 990 of them were about me and I, I'm not even exaggerating 
he still has that yellow sign he's getting ready to roll out. He didn't say he's putting Robin Henry T's on it this time, but he had already told you, so you don't have to repeat yourself. I already know September 23rd is right around the corner. It's the sixth year. I showed up five months and 21 days exactly before that Revelation 12 sign, which was 521, which is May 21st, which is 2011, Christ returns in spirit on that day and that's what happened so now as all of judas's disciples i mean uh, well jesus disciples now as they are all on the youtube platform when they make videos and they're praying to the heavenly father or they're or it it was a transitional period i'm sure because what you do is you start praying out loud you rely on your Father in Heaven, which is a spirit, to communicate, use the Holy Spirit, and get your prayers answered and answering prayers. It's not like you're praying to Heavenly Father for Him to give you an answer. You're praying to Heavenly Father also to give answers because what it is, it's like a big, ginormous <coughs> air balloon filled with filled with uh, words and prayers, and it's just mixed around. And when one person participates and another person participates, they're answering someone else's prayer another YouTube channel that helps me gather and tie things together with the next person and then it it like uh, it and then Kim Jean will talk about us a, a part in the Bible he's just doing his thing it's not like I I it's not like I didn't say a couple months ago you know I, I when I hear Kim Jean I I still hear the devil and there's no like it, it's at times I hear the devil, at times I hear Christ, uh, but that's just the way it's that's just the way he, it is. So I'm not trying to cast a devil out of out of uh, Kim Jean. I, it's not like he's going to stop being a serpent and doing serpent parties and you know and enjoying his flesh and pleasure because that's not what I'm asking him to do. I'm asking him to answer prayers and to pray, have prayers answered by communicating with the Father in heaven. And that's what it is. You're relying on something that basically is like some people will say delusional faith because you're believing in something that isn't even, you can't go up to the Father and shake his hand, give him a hug, like, hey, hey, thanks a lot. Uh, well, no, you can do that. I mean, if you've seen the Son, then you've seen the Father. And that's, the Father is in the Son. But the Father is a spirit, and the Son is what declares the Father. So he was in the beginning, the Word, and the Word was with John in the very beginning. From the beginning. <clears throat> so when Kim does his teachings and... I mean, I'll tell you, it's not it's not the easiest thing to do, have a full-time job and pay attention to, like, 12 different people, 12, 13, pay, to pay attention to all of Judas's disciples. It's not the easiest thing to do, and then get answers and pray back and make videos and have some solid, concrete uh, communication. But it's what the Father in Heaven needs me to keep doing but he's not giving me more than I can handle I, I mean he may be giving you guys more than you can handle through me but that's just how it has to be in order to get your attention I came from nowhere nada nobody nothing 
Where'd he come from? I don't know. Who's he? Who's Robin? Robin? Who? What? Who is this clown telling us to, that we're all gonna, that the world's gonna end? Or Harold Camping? I'm, oh, God, please. Harold Camping. That's right. I came in immediately talking about Harold Camping. That's my pappy. Even in 2017. That, that Bible channel, I forget, it has like 600,000 subscribers at, at the time. He did a little little clip of me back in 2017. I'm like, what? That's me? Oh, what? You're listening to me? Because I did the 70 years, 7 days, 7, 70 this coming up in the 69th year. And then it's like right before the 70th year anniversary the nation of Israel become a nation again I felt like I was being cut off in the 69th year because Matthew Daly was crucifying me through words uh, between 6 p.m. and 9 30 p.m. on the 3 2 2018 date and um, and I even said it after almost three hours I'm like I can't hang here more than three hours I didn't realize I was hanging on a spiritual cross being crucified by the top guy Matthew Daly something else, huh? And then, here we are five years later after that, but six years coming up with the Revelation 12 sign. So it's a good thing I showed up right before that sign. Because five months and 21 days is, you know, being six months pregnant, you're starting a show. You're starting a show, and then September, October, November, December. Three months after that would be nine months, and that's when Derek Bros, Global Witness, showed up with that channel after nine months of me showing up on YouTube, after 40 years of walking in the wilderness. Stroman wrote Roman strolling yeah Stroman like bread Stroman the streets roaming like a roaring lion seeking who I may devour which one of you liars can I devour today um, <clears throat> because everybody started to come after me at the very beginning as soon as Derek bros showed up well who showed up first Stephen James showed up right before Derek Bros did, because I remember him in 2017, right around that time. I remember doing imitation at RFB, and then I fasted for seven days. Right before 2018, I fasted for seven days of not uploading any YouTube videos, and then three and a half days of not watching anything. <coughs> and then Derek Bros created his channel. And it was a rough road ever since. So, uh, and uh, you know, at times I think, is Stephen James Derek Bros? Is that who you are, Derek? Derek James, Stephen Bros, Johnny Cleck, Stephen Noon. It's like Jacob Israel. Which one? There's three of them. There's three in that dead center, Logan Square. There's three of yous. And I just happened to be, to grow up in Philly, to be able to work in Philly, to, to show the landscape in Philly, to come across the people that run this entire system in this, whatever this universe is. Whether it's other Earths being played out, same thing happening, or it is the Matrix and we are plugged in and as soon as you get unplugged, you go to heaven because Satan gets you first. Because Satan gets everybody first. And then you think that that's all that's it. And then you die and then you get tested for like three days. And if you don't believe in heaven, then you're going to come back here and start over again. In a different body. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something to my actual mom? like died already beforehand and then she came back 
You know, that would one thing I thought of was that would be pretty insane, right? If Jesus' mother, not that I'm Jesus, but if Jesus' mother birthed him, and then she died, and she had like a he had like a withered hand or something, and then she came back as a as a different female, and then became his his wife, like married him during his lifetime became his wife and then that would she would be his mother his wife oh and it was his sister because his dad had his mother and then his mother had him which basically that would make that would make mary his mother his sister and his wife and his mother all at the same time but then the craziest thing would even be let's say there's a king that king has a son through, through a mother. And then that son, Parthenogenesis is himself, turns into a female and then has a baby. And then that baby later on, and then once he dies, then he comes back as a female or a different female. And then that same female meets the son that it had in its previous life, marries it. And then it's like, what? That person that had the, the child would be that person's brother transformed sister it would be his mother because he gave he gave birth as parthenogenesis it would be his wife because he married she married him after he transformed from male to female and had had the baby the son uh and all along Being all those titles in one person, I think that's what Satan's bloodline is. How many types of relations can one person have with the same person? Think about it. If the king, the male, has a has a wife, has a, has a son produced by it, okay, well now that and then once that son transforms to a female and then has a baby, well then now that baby that comes out is technically going to be that person's brother because it came from, because his father, his grandfather is his father and then he becomes a female and then changes from male to female and parthenode and has a baby and then now that baby is a son of man. So that son of man, technically, uh, the 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 one that had the baby is the man. But that man, let's say that man dies, or even just stays alive, and then later on in life, or no, let's say it dies because it has to be younger, and then comes back and then meets up with its with its child, and the child itself is still that person's son of that man that changed to a female in a new skin suit a younger ver a younger female in order to marry his own son because he's a son of man and then but is married as a female which becomes now his wife but technically he was his brother from the beginning and a transformed sister all at the same time and then marry like that is the movie of a lifetime. That's a script I don't think has ever been thought of. Because it's possible. And very likely. Because the sure just walk right out into the middle of the street, no big deal. They didn't tell you to do that, I'm sure. With a target bag in your hand. <coughs> that would be the most mind-blowing, twisting. Anomaly. It would be like if my wife right now had already died. She didn't tell me, but she was my brother. Like, you know that say that dead, your dead brother's wife, you'd rather spill your seed on the ground. It would be like, the movie would be like, my wife is actually my dead brother from the, from the past, but is my mother because she gave birth to me a long time ago as the male transformed female but then died, came back, 
hopped into a different skin, a female skin suit. You know, like some, like a female died, and then they took her skin suit and then sewed it onto the skull and bones of my wife. And then she now, my dead brother became my uh, a female. And then I met up with her, but <clears throat> but yet that's my that's my mother, father, creator at the same time. And then I meet up with her later on. You know, my mom. <laughs> and I marry her <clears throat> and then now she's my wife but technically she's my brother's sister I mean technically she would be my <clears throat> my dead brother because my dead brother would turn into my sister after <clears throat> after having a baby but then dying while I was young of course so you know my wife would be at least 100 years old or 90 years old or something like that really under the, the bones <clears throat> and then uh and then so she would be my sister transform my dead brother and my wife and my mother and father creator I think that movie would be the greatest movie ever written I need to start making movies and get paid for it just get compensated that way it keeps it interesting yep